Hey guys, Ben here. Today we have a brand new zombies video, and today we are back for real. This channel somehow has the most subscribers it ever has, and um, I'm extremely thankful for that, considering you often don't gain subscribers once you go rogue and don't upload for eight months. But somehow we did it. Thank you guys so much. Anyways, today we are going to be looking at what the best gun in zombies is. Now, a few uh, guidelines. This is Treyarch only. Obviously, I just don't want to see any comments about it really, but obviously no wonder weapons are included I just want to make sure that is clear in the open Treyarch only no wonder weapons and it's gonna be as objective as possible um, There are a ton of statistics We're gonna go through and we're just gonna look at it as objectively as we possibly can to try and figure out what the best gun in zombies really is So anyways, if you guys want to check me out on Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, TikTok, any of them all in the description um uh, my Twitch won't be live that much, but we definitely do more games on Twitch. Um, Minecraft, Battlefront, 2K, Zombies, Fortnite, all of them will be over there. While on the YouTube channel, it's going to be more Zombies and Fortnite. But anyways, um, I do want to leave this, um, this little stat up uh, right now. Um, I'm not really one that begs for stuff like this, but those are the worst numbers I've ever seen. Anyways, let's get into it. I don't want to waste your time on that if you want to leave a like on this video that'd be awesome if you want to subscribe to the channel if you're new that'd also be amazing but anyways let's get into it all right so starting off with these statistics we have um the damage per second pack punch damage per second total damage output pack punch total damage output ammo time which is just how much if you didn't have to reload how long would it take for you to run out of all your ammo um, which is a good way to tell how much ammo there is for the gun because obviously there's going to be more for a light machine gun than a sniper But we want to see how efficiently it uses that ammo um, We also have rate of fire ammo damage pack a bunch of ammo pack a bunch of rate of fire um, And pack a bunch of damage now rate of fire pack a bunch of rate of fire the list is the same both times um, But the PPSH is the only one that acts improves um, so we're only going to count that once but yeah so moving into the damage per second we have the dingo coming in first draken ppsh galil haymaker 12 an94 now really for this list i just chose six guns that i feel are either the best in their class or just often get referred to as one of the best guns in the game and i think i got all of them um for pack punch damage per second it is dingo ppsh Draken, Haymaker, Galil, AN94. Total damage output goes Dingo, Draken, Galil, PPSH, AN94, Haymaker. Pack a bunch total damage output is Dingo, AN94, PPSH, Draken, Galil, Haymaker. For ammo time, the only um, gun that made it for longer than a minute was the AN94 with the Dingo coming extremely, extremely close. Uh, the Galil, Draken, PPSH, and Haymaker were all below 45 seconds. For rate of fire, the PPSH obviously wins being an SMG. The Galil comes in second, Dingo third, AN94 fourth, Haymaker fifth, and Draken sixth. For the total ammo, obviously the light machine gun is going to win this one. Um, that's the Dingo. Second is surprisingly an SMG in the PPSH. Uh, third is the Galil, fourth is AN94, fifth Draken, sixth Haymaker. For damage, the sniper wins that one with the Draken, Haymaker, Dingo, Galil, AN94, PPSH. Pack a bunch of ammo goes PPSH, so it actually flips with the Dingo. Um, and then Dingo second, AN94 flips with the Galil, so it's third and the Galil is fourth. And then the Draken and the Haymaker stay at five and six. Um, for pack punch damage, it goes Draken, Haymaker, Dingo, Galil, AN94. So, uh, with all these statistics, obviously some important ones that pop out at you would probably be total damage output, showing that it is truly just a weapon that you just spray and rip through your hordes. So anyways, we are going to be eliminating um, four guns right now. Um, the Haymaker should be pretty obvious, that one's out. The Galil and AN94 will be joining it, and sadly, the one that is kind of in the middle tier between them would be the Draken. Um, because moving on, we only have the PPSH and the Dingo, which you guys probably should have known are two of the best guns in the game. Um, and the Draken, it, it's extremely good, and you saw it at the top in a lot of them, but it's missing the hybrid factor. And the hybrid factor is incredibly important. So the hybrid factor is the fact that the Dingo is a light machine gun, but it plays like an AR, 
and the PPSH is a SMZ that also plays like an AR. So it mixes into two classes, taking the best from both. The uh, Dingo is a light machine gun, very, very powerful, but it moves as light as an AR. And the PPSH is an SMG, moves like an SMG, but has the power of an AR. Um, so overall, when you look at these two guns, obviously I think most people will go with the PPSH um, for the hybrid abilities. Um, I think that overall they're pretty even um, in terms of hybrid ability. They both mix classes. ARs aren't that much heavier, but I think for training I would give a slight edge to the PPSH. When it comes to camping, I would give the slight edge to the Dingo. Neither of them are bad options in either scenario, especially if you have stamina. Um, the one thing that will be said is that you kind of need to have stamina up and speed cola for the dingo. The good thing is those are perks you often will find people running anyways. You have jug, double tap, maybe quick revive, and then stamina up and speed cola are the next two up, obviously. Um, so those are perks. It's not like you need to get like mule kick or something with it because um, it doesn't have a lot of ammo so you're going to want two more guns to support it no not like that it's perks you often want but a little advantage does go to the ppsh where the dingo comes in is better damage damage output damage per second um it really ran the stat table and just showed that it shouldn't even be i shouldn't even be making a video about this the dingo should just win um, and the mobility with the dingo is actually very good. When you have stamina, obviously, there's no difference in running around with an AR or an SMG without stamina. Um, so, really, really beneficial there. But overall, um, you guys probably should have seen this one coming. It is good. It's gonna be the dingo. I mean, I, I don't know how you look at these four stats and don't say the dingo should win. It has its unpack punch variant has a higher damage per second and a total damage output than any other gun on this list. And these are some of the best guns in the game. Um, and on pack a punch it's on the same level as the other ones are pack a punch um, in these areas. It's above them. So really, I think if you wanted PPSH and you thought that was the best gun, I absolutely understand and there would be no argument really coming back from me because the hybrid factor may be a bit better. But I think if you're looking at it from the hybrid factor, it comes into more play style and that becomes subjective. We're looking at stats, we're looking at literally what does it do, and when you look at the stats objectively, I don't see much of a way you can say PBSH is the best gun in history. Now I love the fact that it, um, from World at War travels all the way through, you can get it in a garage Kroby. Um, and I really do love that fact, um, and that gave it nostalgia, which really boosts it for some people. Now, I'm not at all saying it's not an amazing gun. It absolutely is. Top two in zombies history, without a doubt. But I think when you look at it subject or objectively, the dingo is better. So anyways, if you guys want to comment down below what you think the best gun in zombies history is, that would be absolutely amazing. Any videos you want, to check, uh, want me to make, just comment them down below. I'll definitely check them out. Um, anyways, all the links are in the description if you want to go check those out. And if you want to just subscribe to the channel, because I don't want to put that uh, statistic up again of the fact that 98% of you are not subscribed. <sighs> Alright, I'll see you later. Thank you very much. Peace out.